Hello, hello, everybody. Th my name is Odinson, and this is Modded Minecraft. Um, yeah, episode six. So here we go. And I have a weird sword-looking thing in my hand. Well, this is actually a um, sword. It's from the mod Silent Gear. <clears throat> I made it because there's no fast de leaf decay type mod in this pack. So when you chop down a tree, you have to chop down. Or ulti mine, for that matter. Um... You have to chop down every tree individually. And, um, yeah, it's a pain. And I knew I needed a lot of wood for what I wanted to do today. So. Stop. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I made this, which involves making a couple of blueprints for this mod, which aren't that difficult to use. Um, but then you do that and you make your rods and so on and so on. <clears throat> and what this does is give me a saw so that I can do... Let me find a decent tree. Nah. Of course it's raining. But it allows you to do that. <clears throat> Which is definitely handy. Um, because I wanted a lot of wood for what I'm going to be doing mostly today. Maybe get into a couple of other things. Um... Just want to uh, put that wood away. Put that stick away. <clears throat> nope. Yep. As you can see, the storage drawers are gone from here. And what I've realized is we've got all this stuff. Now, we haven't got into AE, AE Applied Logistics yet, but we're going to be very shortly. But one thing that is compatible with AE is um, these functional storage drawers. So, I am going to make... <clears throat> A big old bank of them for all, for a lot of the different items that we have in bulk. So this recipe is still a thing. I think I'm just going to do 16, 20, 28, 32 in total will be enough, I believe. And then we just do a bunch of that. And then we could surround them like that. Same again and same again. We've got 32 storage drawers. <clears throat> um, just going to put this away. There we go. All right, so there's a few things that I'm going to need. So let's do the search for functional storage. And what I'm going to want is... No. Oh. Is that it? The storage controller? I think that's it. Compacting. And we're going to need the linking tool. Yeah, configuration tool. As well. That requires... That's the first emerald that I've actually needed. Okay. So I need to set aside three of these for the minute. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is... Um, yeah, that's the wrong way. All right, so... Where do I want to put this? Probably on this side because, like, the staircase down to the mining area is over there. So, yeah, let's do this. So, I want to leave a gap in the middle but for the uh, controller. Oops. <laughs> that was not what was intended. Okay. Come on. And I've got five left for the moment. So one, two, three, four, five. So I took the stuff out of the uh, storage drawers. So I'm thinking I'm going to have gems over the side. Stuff like coal. And then I'm going to put my ores on this side. So stuff like yellow right. <clears throat> and then what I can do is... um. Keep this reasonably empty. Ugh, that stuff. Doesn't really have many uses. And then... You there. Okay, what else have we got? Yeah, so I took... 
All the iron and the appetite. The dimensional shard, copper, one more, that's fine. <clears throat> so we could put that there and you just like double click it with your right hand and it takes it all from your inventory, sticks it in there. All right, so then we want ores, so that can go over here. And then copper. Good. And now we could start moving the stuff back and forth like that. Now the reason I want to do this now is because you can actually link up this um, storage drawer system to... Let me get all the ores first. Uh, that, 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 that. You, you, you. Any other ores? Not that I can see. You could link it up to your AE system without actually taking up space in your AE system's drives. It will just stay in the storage drawers. So that's gold. Uh, zinc. Osmium. Silver. Nickel. Bauxite. Tin. Lead and uranium. <laughs> uranium. Uh, all right. And then I want to get some drawers, uh, some some of the gems type deal stuff. You know what I mean. So force gems, I would definitely do because there's lots of them. We're going to end up doing the Zeganite. Nitre, there's a lot of that. Mm, Certus will be one for sure coming up soon. Fluorite, there's a lot of that. Mm, not so much the Crimson Iron, not so much any of that stuff. Yeah, that's about it for now. Good. So we will put Force Gems in there. Go. Zeganite, we're going to fill right up in a minute. Fluorite can go there. Actually, I want to keep this for any other ores that we have, so we're going to go this side. It's fluorite. Nitre. Certus. Good. Good, good, good. <clears throat> what I might do is I put the Seaconite over here, I put the uranium there, and then keep the top row for. Some blocks, I guess. We could definitely do oak because we're going to definitely be using a lot of oak. Uh, magma blocks for sure. The kiwi for sure. Jasper for sure. What does this... I mean, we can cut down some material. Might do the base out of jasper and kiwi because I know this stuff could be sawmilled into like bricks or tiles which I quite like the idea of black bricks and then have the jasper as the flooring it feels good <clears throat> all right so we're gonna have wood in there and then we'll have jasper in there kiwi in there Magma in there. Uh, I don't really need Skystone for anything right now, so you can go bye-bye. <clears throat> That's good. Okay, and then I want to take some basic blocks from here, so I'm going to do a bunch of cobble. Now, I can keep plenty in my pocket storage. I'm not really bothered about that. It's just I want to have some available, you know what I mean? in my like a system when i have it so dirt's probably a good one to do as well just so that it's available it's a thousand ish of that and then andesite it's probably the other one because andesite's used a lot in um create which i'm sure we will get into 
at some point in the near future. Now we can add to this and add more storage drawers in a bit, and I'm sure we will. But four, eight, twelve, fifteen, thirty-three. Okay, so we've got that, and now what I want to do is the stuff that I. Uh, linked earlier, so I'm going to need that. And then I need a crafted table. Let me go around like that. Leaves us with eight chests. <clears throat> I'm just going to fill in these two annoying. This like kind of agitating my OCD. And then what I can do is. Um, take that. Stick that over there. So that block there is ours. And then take these. Stick these over here. That's good. And then I can um, add a few more things like deep slate, which is going to be one of the main materials as well. Good. And then hmm, I guess we can put gravel there for now. I might change my mind, but we can add some more blocks. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Add some more storage drawers at the top layer and even spread it over these doors if I need to. So they can live. There. Beautiful. All right. And that leaves me with a few of these storage drawers to um, craft the rest of these recipes. So, what do we need? What do we need? So, I'm going to add you and you. And we'll start with this. Okay. So, any kind of stone. Yep. Storage drawers. Quartz. Okay, and a redstone comparator. We've come across them before. I'm going to make another. Um... Start using birch. That's fine. Because I want to have another craft table. Uh, just over here, basically. That will do for now. All right, um, I can make some sticks with those. Not that I need to make sticks, but I'm going to go. Okay, so I need three of these. I need a nether quartz and I need three stones. So I've got one, two, three. And then I can just head into this room. And I can quickly do this. There we go. And I also needed never quartz blocks, didn't I? Right, that's probably one too many. Yep. All right. So we'll go with the redstone comparator. Our four stone. Uh, this way. Perfect. Got the storage drawers. Yep, we good. Okay, so that's the controller. Like now, unlike um, storage drawers mod before and everything, these aren't automatically linked. So you can't just double click this and everything just goes in there. You have to link them first. One, two, three, four, five, five paper and emerald and two gold. Might be able to do that. Yep, there's some paper. Uh, an emerald. Two gold. We good. We good, boys. All right. 
Hide show amount. Hide show render. Upgrade. Locking. Okay. So we're going to lock all these. And what that means is, is that when you run out, the drawer does it show as empty. And then going forward, everything that you put in there will just automatically go into its correct storage drawer. Which is definitely useful later. Okay. Void upgrade. Okay, and I'm gonna need more paper, which means I'm gonna need to go and get more sugar cane. Great. Okay, um, that's fine. Right. These are some of the parts from this diamond saw that I made, um, like the emerald tool rods. There, I've got some sugar cane. Ha, ha. And I do believe Snad is in the pack. Yes, it is. Perfect. Um, so just going to sleep through the night. <clears throat> All right. And what I could do is actually do my first little farm that I haven't done any of yet, which I'm going to have to set up at some point soon. Yep. I'm going to... One, two. Yeah, I need water. Um, means I need a bucket. And the nearest water is off this way. Unfortunately, I need to sort that out and get an infinite water source. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. So excuse the back and forth for a minute. Oh, God, it's a wilderness stalker. Die. Idiot. <clears throat> Um, probably need to go this way because of the way I've done the platform. Uh, one more bucket of water. Let's go, bro. Come on, run. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Perfect, and then I should be able to... Yep. And what Snad does is it grows this stuff way quicker. I can probably... Uh, let's eat some food. What I can probably do is um, bone meal. So I'm just going to pulverize some of this stuff. Some of these bones. Speed it up a bit. I'm getting between four and five in the pulverizer rather than just crafting, which gives you uh, three per. Pulverizer. Pulverizer. Pulverizer gives you um, better. No, you can't. That's a shame. Alright. 
Well, is that... Yeah, it's within my chunk loaded area, so that's good. How are these doing? I bet these are like full now. Oh no, slow as hell. Okay, you can go in there. God, we've got so much rubbish. I can't wait to have an AE system to just dump that into. Five armor. Five armor. The thing with this chest plate is it uses XP to heal itself. So it's like pretty much as long as you get an XP, not gonna break. I wonder if there's any more sugarcane anywhere around here. Let's see if we can go get some quickly. Thanks as always to Approaching Nirvana for allowing us to use their music in the videos. The links will be below so you can check out their uh, Spotify and YouTube pages. What is this? Uh, that's um, Botania. We're going to get into that soon too. There is usually sugarcane around the coastlines. I haven't seen any yet. I may have already vacuumed up all of the sugar cane round here, like the um, hoarder that I am. Well, in Minecraft, but anyway. <clears throat> hmm. Loads of flax, not much sugar cane. Oh, it's a little bit. Well, that's going to help us get started. Oh, and there's a bit over there too. Wee. Let's go. Okay, you, you, yes, we got nine, that's what I wanted. Let's scoot home. I'm gonna craft this into paper. Perfect, what else do we need from that thing? A diamond, two gold. Can do that. Okay, and now we've got the linking tool, which will help us finish this part of the video. Okay, so now I right clicked on that and then you just literally go like this. And it literally just links every single block like that and then what you can do for example if I take a couple of these you see I've got two stacks of cobblestone in here and this nether quartz will go in too if I go like this ee, it's all gone from my inventory and gone to its proper slot in there so one thing I did want to do was um, put a bunch of this horrible stuff in there which I'm probably never going to use for anything. See that one up to 766? My inventory's clear. All good. Okay, so that's that bit sorted. So the other stuff I want to do, so we could sort that. Good. And we could put paper in there. Put sticks back to there. Some chest there. 
It's a spare storage drawer for whatever we need. So, if you remember, we were setting up the nuclear reactor last episode and everything, and I was having an issue with the redstone side of it. And what I figured out is these redstone ports give off a strong signal. So, if you run this redstone directly, especially next to this block, it permanently stays on. Because, like, it feeds the redstone signal back out of there and then back to there. And, like, it was just a nightmare. And I found that if you just run it a further away, like this, it works perfectly. So, that's good. And that's all working as intended now. So, now, and I extended out this basement as well. I'm going to break down this bit of wall here. But, um, yeah, this has all been extended out now. So, i got room down here to grow. Which is good. So we're going to need that for... How did you get in here? You must have come up from down here. Now one thing we're going to be doing shortly is definitely building a portal to the um, mining dimension. And then we don't have to worry about that mine anymore. Uh, we've got all this stuff. That's one more thing I can do today. But you know what? Let's look at that. Um portal there we go that's to the mining dimension and it's three six eight obsidian ah obsidian and it's diamonds as well i mean i could spare the diamonds for now i can go mining in between episodes but it's the obsidian don't think i have any all i have is this crying obsidian i, I mean that's used for a yeah trinkets portal charm yep mm -hmm. and the rest is all mine colony stuff so i'm gonna have to either go find some so we're not gonna do that now but one thing which was on my list that i definitely need to do as i get more tools and food and stuff was the backpack it means i need the chest four string and four leather i got some leather I got four string. I definitely had a chest. Sweet. So let's do that. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. And what I can do is um, I'm going to get that other tool back as well because I'm going to store that in there. If I open that, I've got a backpack inventory for all this stuff. If I need it, just stick it all in there at the moment. I'm going to keep that out. Keep my mining laser out. And keep that food out. And that's it. And the rest can live in my backpack for now. Now this backpack's useful. You can just like place it on the floor. Pick it back up. Or I believe you could put it in a curio slot and just wear it on your back. Which is also pretty cool. I'm not sure what the hotkey is. To get access to it though. So I'll look in the uh, controls for that in a bit. Just going to sleep. But yeah, that's what I wanted to get done today. And we seem to be doing that just fine. So what was the other thing I wanted to get done? So we're going to be looking at the induction smarter and hardened integral components to upgrade our machines. But the other thing I wanted to get into was moving this stuff into where our power system is in the basement. Keeping them wind turbines for um, if we need to do it even remotely power wise and changing our cables to the uh, mechanism ones because i do believe they transfer more power and are easily more easily upgradable so that's what we're going to be doing next episode but for now we're at the 30 minute mark so that means the end of this episode thank you so much for watching i'll see you again next time take care